Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 96 of my let's play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. We just finished a map and captured ourselves a bunch of undead and ghosts. So let's see what we can do with them. Now I had before decided that I didn't need one star ghosts, but since we're in Ron Rin's extended training for ghosts, it's reset to one star. Of course, next is four stars, which I have seen precious few of of any type. In any case, here's her one star, two star, and three star ghosts, which we did before. And now it's back to one. Note that among other things she can't do, for instance, physical attack, which required probably three star giants or something, which we've never seen. She can't do her extended training. That's because she hasn't been finished her basic training yet. So I'll try to remember going forward that I don't need to capture one star ghosts. But you know how it is when you're set in a pattern. I notice that I and you don't have extended training at all. This is the same set they had before. Wait. No, I could be wrong. Looks to me like she has only six extended trainings. Yeah, HP is a series that's way up here. Of course, she hasn't done it because she's been in my party so little time. Hmm, so the ghosts have a very small set of extended trainings. In any case, let's try and remember going forward that I don't need two star undead or two star ghosts. Oh man, did I capture a lot of these girls. But when going from basic training into extended training, it might reset some of them. So, I'll try and keep it in mind. This is what I need for a certain crafting project. Now we got these seven color mushrooms from this last map. Allowing us to be able to extra large healing potions. I probably won't do that too often. Takes five seeds, jeez. And this is the item that unequips your cursed items. So if you have a fondness for equipping and unequipping those, make sure to that you get a lot of seven color mushrooms and make a bunch of those things. And this, this is what I needed the high quality stone for. It's a spirit guiding mo monument. Yes. And it has this little scenic associated with it. So we finished it. And this is what we think will be able to guide spirits in Rose Leiden's absence from the way of flowing spirits. So this should solve that problem. What we need to do next is talk to Rose Lean and see if we can get it working. And Rosaline wants to have sex with us. Uh, what about the ghosts? And this building I built? Come on. Anyway, let's see what this is all about. So, Rosaline had something important to talk to us about, so she invited us out here. To a certain middle of nowhere place where nobody's around. So, what's up calling me out here? So, she was searching for a place that would satisfy the conditions. And she found this place. So, she wants to do a little charm with Avaro and she wonders if he wouldn't mind 
helping her out here. A charm? Yeah, that's all he says. What about the building? The ghosts? Hello? Well, yes. She read about this charm that can artificially manage your luck, your fortune. She remembered it from a book she read a long time ago. So, Rosaline has, for a long time, been interacting with the ghosts in the way of flowing spirits who are always crying out in mourning at having lost their bodies and such. And by staying there with them for altogether too long, she's been drawn a little bit down by that, well, by the circumstances and environment. And that's why she'd like to fix it in order to be a bit better. Okay, that's impressive. And if it's possible, sure, Alvaro will help. So what does he have to do? Heh. <laughs> Rosaline fidgets a bit, but replies to, with a serious face. Well, in a place where it's bright and sunny, you need to raise your, excite your bodies and spirits. And the particular method is bodily touch. <laughs> Wait, touch our bodies? Are you saying we need to have sex here? Well, she blushes and nods. Well, in truth, if it's amongst a bunch of spectators and surrounded by noise and laughing voices, that is actually better, but she was too embarrassed to try that. And so she decided on second best these, this particular bright and sunny place. So the request for Avaro is to, well, have sex. And that should be enough. Saying this makes her quite embarrassed, but she conveys it to Avaro. So, you're thinking that you can get bright and sunny by doing it in a bright and sunny place? Is that it? And no, it's not just doing it. So, she's already done the preparations for the ritual. So, when we do it, she'll be doing stuff behind the scenes, I guess, in order to improve her luck. Ultimately, it may turn out that she's just soothing her conscious soothing her mood but she wants to give it a try can she ask this of him well she is seriously trying to improve herself and that is admirable in it in and of itself so yeah as much as possible he would like to so sure If there's a good way, he'd be glad to help. And Avaro, for his part, does enjoy the sex thing. And he thanks her for choosing him. 
Well, she says, there's no way she could request this of somebody other than him. Well, further, it could be true that because it's him, she was able to think of this in the first place. So she thanks him for accepting her request. And then let us begin. And obviously this is where the sex happens. So I will see you in a minute. Wait, what? <laughs> Okay, it really happened. She did that ritual with Avaro specifically so she could draw better fortunes out of the fortune box. So as soon as she was done having sex, she had him draw it out to wherever the hell... The, well, draw it out from wherever the hell he keeps it so that she could try it right away. So, let's see. Avaro's a little worried. He's kind of got his doubts. As you might have heard in the sex scene if you'd seen it. About whether it was, would actually be effective with this kind of test. Yeah, here he's saying he doesn't really think that it would have worked like that. She says it'll be alright. Lately she's been feeling really good. たとえ運試しで悪い結果だったとしても、それに一喜一憂して心が動くこと自体は素敵なこと。And even if it should happen that she does get a bad result here, in itself this anticipation of a good or bad thing makes her heart move again and that in itself is a wonderful experience. So getting these things working and well doing these things with Avaro this is something she's been able to realize to realize notice okay then Avaro's gonna watch you as she does this Oh man, I feel nervous too. So, she's gonna draw it. Hoa. So, starting out, she's looking very anxiously at it. Ah, but as she glides her eyes over the paper, she goes from her serious expression to a quite the sunny face, isn't it? Let's just take a moment to enjoy. Okay, you've enjoyed it enough. Uh, okay, so seeing the change, Avaro is quite happy. So it turns out she finally got the results she wanted. <laughs> there, she's finally been able to draw a fulfilling fortune out of this thing. Five stars, that was the one that Fia drew way back when. So it changed her all for the way from one and zero to five. Hey, didn't she say there was an even more effective way? It'll probably break this box. Huh, anyway, congratulations, Havaro says. It seems like Rosaline's feelings have finally gotten through to this fortune-telling device. <laughs> she says no, it's not her feelings, but her luck that got through. It just means that her luck for today is that good. 
また明日くじを引くと悪い結果が出るかもしれないでもそれでいいのよね Uh, perhaps. If she tries it again tomorrow, she'll get a bad result. But even that will be okay. So, thinking about what happened to, might happen tomorrow, just thinking about it, has lately been fun for her. Since she isn't suffering under the curse anymore, and she can continue to change and grow, it's been fun for her. She thinks it's very healthy and wonderful way to live. So she'd be glad to grow older. With Avaro by her side, and enjoy these days that noisily change from day to day. And she does have this fulfilled look on her face as she smiles. Avaro, seeing it, can't help but smile himself. Oh, yeah, it's been a long time coming, but she does have a cute smile. So that's the events for today. Hey, what about the ghosts? The monument? Making sure it works? Stuff like that? Ha, huh, I guess it doesn't matter in the end. And here's where we get to go tomorrow. The great news we finally get some true pearl stone from this place. We've been waiting for that for probably two whole chapters. And. Rainbow Magic String. I don't actually know if anything I need that for. But the true Pearl Stone I'm going to enjoy. There's been this and that I've been wanting to build and they just don't drop. Occasionally in my trial runs I've seen them come out of Goddess cards. But none on screen. In any case. That's going to be a big battle I know already so. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.